All right, so I'm going to show how to open up this Alienware Area 51 R2. Um, so there's two side panels. I'm not sure what this one does, but you got these two levers here. So what you do is you pull this lever up and then the side panel will come off. To take it out, you kind of swing it forward a little bit. Let me zoom out a little. And then you just grab it and pull it up, okay? So here you can see inside, it's kind of a weird design. I don't know why they decided to do this. It's not very good um, because you have all this empty space for nothing. I don't, I don't understand what the point of this was. Um, but anyways, I'm going to lay it on its side and then we're going to pull some components out and I'll show you. Okay, so let me pull this forward a little bit so I can lay this down. Okay. All right. So if you're going to take out the video card, first what you want to do, just like every other desktop, there's a little um, spring-loaded plastic thing here. You squeeze, and then you kind of just wiggle and pull it up. All right, both pieces will come out. I'm not going to take everything out. I'm just going to show, like, the main things that people would probably do. Um, then you want to remove this piece, which is holding the video card in place. You squeeze this in, and then you can pull this up. After that, you want to remove these um, little clips. So these, you push them down and then they go in. So this thing is kind of somewhat tension spring loaded. So you push that down and then you can push it back, okay? All right, after that, there's two screws here. These are, I believe, PH2 or JS2, but I'm just using a PH1 screwdriver. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show the removal process because I might, I need two hands for this, but um, remove both screws. Okay, and then there you go. Okay, and then to remove the video card, there's this little white thing that's spring-loaded. You push that, and then while you're squeezing that, you can pull the video card up. I'll try and do this with one hand. Kind of just wiggle it as you pull it, like that. Okay, it is coming out. There we go, and then you can lift this out. So there's the video card. I'm gonna set that aside on here. Um, it looks like if you replace a new one, hopefully you can put these screws in. I don't know, but yeah, okay, because you want one of these. These brackets help hold it, though. I guess if you get other video cards, you won't have another metal bracket to put it, but if you're upgrading to a different video card, then you can. Okay, then you got the RAM here, so I'm not going to take all of this out because all of this is like standard desktop stuff, um, but we'll show you the RAM. Just like every other desktop, the RAM, well, I guess some of them now, they only have one movable thing. But you push these two little wings out to the side. And then once you do that, then you can actually grab the RAM and pull it up. Okay, so this RAM, the model here is, uh, so it's 4 gigs, PC42133P. So that's the type of RAM you'd need is PC42133P. And then you can get other sizes. So if you want, you can put all 8 gig sticks or even 16 gig sticks. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm actually going to take out all the sticks of RAM. Um, but it's basically the same process. Just pull these two wings out. And they actually label it on here, the order that you're supposed to put the sticks of RAM in. So if you see, there's DIMM1, 2. And then on this side, where is it? One, two, oh, there it is, four, three. So you put it in that order, one, two, three, four. Don't put it in the one, two, four, three, but yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna take out all the RAM. All right, then we're gonna open up the other side just to see what's over there, but I'm just doing a quick disassembly. So Dell's using some weird um, power supply here. Uh, it says PCI, PCIe power here, but this connector seems like a CPU power connector So I don't know if we were to plug in a CPU power from a regular power supply if that would fry this Because Alienware does this weird stuff or Dell so Probably safe bet not you don't want to just try a random power supply or you can damage the computer And then you got these little jumpers here let me zoom in. Zoom in. So here you can see clear CMOS, which is like the BIOS settings. Um, if you move it over to the first and second pin, that will clear the BIOS out, and then you just move it back to set it back to normal. There's also a password clear password jumper here. So if your motherboard has a password, this should allow you to clear that out by just 
you basically grab this up, move it over to the one and two, and then leave it for a little bit, and then that should clear the thing. You want to do this while the computer's off. All right, so I'm going to take this back out, move it back over. There we go. Um, there's not much else I'm going to remove from here. Let's see here. Let's zoom out. Yeah, there's not really much else I'm going to remove in here. So I'm going to lift it up and we're going to open the other side panel. Okay. So let's rotate this around. Okay. Just like the other side, there's this one lever. You just pull that up. The cover will come forward and then you just pull it up and take it out. Set it aside. All right, so in here you can see there's some three and a half inch hard drive bays. There's one three and a half inch hard drive right here. Okay, I don't see an SSD. I don't know why they're not using an SSD in this gaming machine. Or maybe there is an SSD somewhere and I missed it. But as you can see from these hard drive bays, you take this one screw out and then you can actually slide. It looks like the caddy will actually slide over backwards this way. So you pull it back this way and then you can pull the thing out and then you would use screws to hold the hard drive in on the sides of the hard drive just like on this one okay and then you can just slide them back in they have all the cables in the place where they need to be so that's kind of nice you don't have to kind of go fishing for them you got the optical drive or cd drive here then you got a bunch more cables over here these are for the front panel with the usb ports and everything but um yeah, there's not much else for me to show here, so I'm not going to pop up open random stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Um, hopefully this video helped at least to get you op to open the thing or something if you needed to open it. It looks like there's some, oh, there's some 2.5 inch SATA um, ports or slots here, so you can actually put in the SSDs here uh, without having to get an adapter for these so that's nice it actually has enough room for two and they got the two um, data cables but I don't see power connectors oh there's one down here and then one here I guess you can probably make these reach over there if you wanted to you'd have to take this clip out so you can unclip this and then you can move the cable over but I'm gonna leave it as is and yeah so that's pretty much all there is um, as far as putting back the uh, panel you want to get this little metal thing to go over this it's hard I can't really show this on camera but you want that metal thing to go over there oh there you can actually see and then after that you just push it up and it locks in place okay and if you're wondering what these this little chip is for that's for the LEDs so yeah again hopefully this video helped you guys I know it wasn't very thorough I didn't disassemble much but yeah, hopefully it was helpful anyways. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye. Oh, I guess I probably should show how to re reassemble or put back the video card. But basically, you look from this side, drop it in, make sure the ports go into the back lined up. And then the main thing is you line this piece up, okay, with the slot, just like that. Once you got it lined up, just push it down. Okay, you'll hear it click in place. That's how you know you did it right. And then the main thing I guess some people might be confused on is this bracket thing. But here you can see the slot there. So just line up the slot with that metal piece, just like that, and then slide it in. It helps to kind of squeeze this when you drop it in. Otherwise it does like this really loud click. Um, but yeah, you don't want it to like do that because you can damage the thing that way. So squeeze it and then just drop it in and then you know it's good when you try and like pull it out. All right? then of course you just put the screws back in. The hardest part is putting the screws in that top corner piece. You will have to kind of pull this down to make sure that the screw hole is revealed. And then make sure when you put the screw in that it goes in easily. You don't want to try and force it in. Um, if, you're, if it's hard to twist the screw, then it's like going in at an angle like that. You don't want the screw to go in at an angle like that. If it's going in at an angle, you want to kind of like pull the um, video card down some more. Sorry, I have to do this with two hands. But while you're pulling it down, then you just tighten the screw and there you go. You can see it's going in. Okay. So just do that with both the screws. All right. 
sorry, no, this is not very good recording because I'm holding this while doing this, but I don't know any other way to get good angles. But there you go, get the screw in, and you can see it's really easy to put this screw in, okay? It shouldn't be hard to turn. If it's hard to turn, that means you're not putting it in right. All right, then you just go on the other side, these things, and just flip them back up, okay? And just push them in. They click in place just like that. And that's pretty much it. So... Lift the thing back up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Lift the thing back up. Let's zoom out. Okay. Grab the panel, just like the other one. Okay. Get that metal thing lined up at the bottom, and then close it. All right. So that's pretty much it. Again, I'm not sure what this thing is for. It looks like it allows you to actually put one of those locks on the computer, but I don't think it does anything else. I think it's just for the lock, so you can put one of those um, locks to tie it down to a desk. All right, again, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, like and subscribe, help others find my videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.